action in the background. It's a brilliant start. I don't believe it. Here we go. Looks like Max Stappen off to a great lead. <clears throat> Charles Leclerc trying to get a lead. Oh my god, that's a big spin. As he comes back across the track. That's massive carnage. 10 second penalty for corner cutting. I don't believe what is going on here. Max Stappen off to a great lead now. <clears throat> It's absolutely a mental race so far. Looks like already the McLaren has been out and the Haas. Ferrari has is in third. Charles Cluck and Carl Sainz in eleventh. Um, and that was incredible. Um, yeah, all over the track that was. Oh my gosh. Um, the track's kind of sucked down. We see some movement in the background. So let's go further down the uh, pitch. Here we are with um, Charles Clare. He's got a challenge from the Alpine. That, um, not shifting up. Now it shifts. And it goes wheel to wheel. This is brilliant racing. In the background looks like traffic. And Charles Leclerc managing to hold his line. It's not over yet. As he's by the outside. I don't believe this. He's through. He's on the inside. It's collision. But it's, they're just touching wheels. I don't believe it. We're still wheel to wheel. Ferrari has got that. The Ferrari has been overtaken. He's going to try and fight back, both with penalties. He's trying to fight back, just can't find the pace. Won't get DRS this lap, but he will the next lap. He's really, really just trying to find the pace. And let's have a look at the Williams. So, here is the Williams then, who got taken out. So, I don't believe he'll have any front wing. And he might be going in the pits. Yes, he is. He goes straight into the pits to get that new front wing on. Uh, let's see what kind of pit stop we're going to get here then. Um, going to be a quick one. Oh, no, sorry. It's a drive-through. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, in the pits he goes. They're going off to soft. Uh, wasn't a bad stop there. Pretty quick. Uh, not the quickest, though. And now we're still seeing action. Switching left, right, and center. The Avatari now going to try and make some moves on. Uh, Alfa Romeo going to try and make some move on the Avatari. He just oh, he's found an opening. He is on the softs and the Avatari is on the mediums, so that will be make a big difference. He shot out in front. Now the Mercedes. The Avatari is going to try and get the Mercedes. There's still a yellow flag. We don't actually know what from, but there is still a yellow flag. Uh, that looks like a slow Ferrari. This could be a three-second time penalty. And then, oh, the Ferrari's now coming into the big now the Mercedes. This is incredible. They both go wheel to wheel. The Avatari managing to get past. Now he's going to try and get past the Ferrari. It's going to be close. It looks like Max Staffan happened to him saying, as Max Staffan's dropped down to fourth. That was Sergio Perez we just overtook. And now he is going to be getting the straight line speed and trying to get this overtake. Won't be enough four people with penalties and that looks like the Ferrari into the pits already and uh, it's been a pretty interesting race no that's gonna try and get it back he can't get it back on the undercut he's actually dropped back quite a bit there he might span oh the Mercedes has span this is left right center action I don't know what is going on the green flag is now being waved Haslow still right behind him. Going to be trying to get past him. That has is pushing. He's gonna be trying to get past him, but he just can't get through. Um so then we'll go and have a look at the McLaren then here. He is behind both the um he's behind the Alf um he's behind the Aston Martin and the Red Bull. He'll be trying to get past, but uh, unfortunately, he does look like he's quite far behind. One second, uh, one second and a bit. Um, the pack's nice and evenly relaxed now, kind of. It's gone a bit settled, but now the Ferrari will be trying to get past this Mercedes, but no, he's been overtaken. This is um, the Mercedes on the track. It's a double overtake almost. The Mercedes now, he's going to get the DRS, no DRS, sorry, he's going to come down here, there's three of them, three of them, we have a retirement, what has happened here, it looks like probably down the straight, yellow flags, double yellow, no, 
Charlie is on the side of the track! What on earth happened there? You can see him on the side of the track here. And he is out of this session. I don't know what happened there, but that is not good for him. Here we are with Sergio Perez. Uh, not much action going on here. If we go back to the two Ferraris, these two are having a battle. Um, it's so close, this uh, race here. He really does want to try and get past these cars, but he just can't, can he? Right, 10 laps to go. Anything can happen. At the moment, your pole sitter is the Alphatari of Bottas. Taking the nice lead now as we'll watch him. Um, nice and easy with a big lead of five seconds. So it looks like he's got a pretty secured um, lead at the minute. But yet he hit, does yet to have to pit. So uh, we'll have to see when his pit window opens. Um, so, so far we have had two DNFs and one DSQ um, from the McLaren and other cars. So here is our last place then. It is Lewis Hamilton in dead last, unfortunately. Not actually dead last, um, but he is quite far back. Then we have the Ferrari. Uh, but here is where all the action is. The Alpine trying to make a move on this Ferrari. He really can't make a move. In fact, he's inside it. Um, trying to make a move on Charles Leclerc, but really can't seem to get past. He's got a three second penalty. Multiple warnings. That goes to, um, that went to the Alfa Romeo. Now this could be a penalty here. Yes, it is a penalty. And um, that was from the Atari. I wonder then, are these two fighting? Yes, we got a big action here. That has makes a move. He gets the undercut. The Atari now all over the place. This was great action. It's not over yet though. The Has will be trying to make another move. He goes wide, gets on that sausage curve. Now we're going to get a beautiful view of these two battling. He's going to try and catch back up. It's a big battle here. He's going to try and go back down the inside. It's a double overtake. Off goes the Al Alpha Tari. Through goes Haz. It's so close. Now Haz is going back down the inside. Has big contact. Big, big contact. Sending the Alpha Tari off Alpha May off the road. Here comes the Haz then. Haz and Pepper taking the lead. Uh, Alpha Atari does not have a front wing. Oh, oh, we got a big send. That is a big DNF. Big, big, big DNF. That allows the Alpha Romeo to get through. The Alpha Atari is now out. He goes straight into it. They both go to the pits. Let's see what kind of pit stop we're going to get here. This has been massive. For so close, he clipped his rear wheel there. This could be a safety car. Um, safety car is out, yes. We do have a safety car. Um, so, yeah, that was a big crash there. Uh, really uncalled but he's going in the box to get his new wing on. And, yeah, so very messy day today. Um, and then there comes out the has. Now, what position are these people going to come out of? And they haven't really lost any positions. And this will be a brilliant for all the drivers, so this does not secure the Alphatari's lead now, because it's all going to be bunched back up. Loads of people pitting now, though. Will the Alphatari pit? I wonder. So let's have a look at the fastest lap, then. Of here. So he's gone up one position, so he started second, I presume. So there's the speed getting up to 100 miles an hour. So this is a quick look and is he going to go into the pits? Yes he is going straight into the pits. Making sure not to get that penalty, which he does not. And he's gone straight into the pits to have a look at how long his pit stop is going to be. Straight in, no messing, straight back out. Pretty good pit stop, that looks like the Alpine in the background there as well. Um, coming into the pits in second place, the Alpine. So the safety car is out. He did lose a position. Max Staffen takes the lead, but I don't believe he had stopped. 
which could cost him the race back end, getting a bit swashy here. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, how many stops? Yeah, he has not stopped. The leader has not stopped. So that is really gonna, um, that could really mess up their, uh, their thingy. So, there is their thing. Tires up on the screen now. So, positions are, we have the Red Bull, then we have Alfa Romeo, then we have the Alpine, then we have the McLaren, then we have the Alfa Romeo, then we have the Haas, then we have the Mercedes, then we have Sergio Perez, then we have Aston Martin, Fernando Alonso, then we have uh, Ocon, then we have Logan Sargent, then we have Charles Leclerc, and honestly, it seems that the Ferrari, Carlos Sainz, has DNF, so let's see what has happened here. What has happened here, so where is he? On the track, I have not a clue. The pit window is now open though, for the Mercedes. As they have not found, Mercedes still has not caught up to the safety car, and actually is a heck of a long way back. So of these cars, there is, um, there is Charles Leclerc, and it goes wheel to wheel, what is going on here? Maybe he had an illegal overtake. There, there's the illegal overtake. He has to give back the position. Um, he's probably trying to get him to hurry on a little bit. Um, so here comes him. Oh! Oh! Swerving quite a lot there. Um, now they're behind the safety car. Oh! Oh, there's big damage! Oh, I don't believe it! He's got damage underneath the safety, under the safety car. That will not be good. And I think we see the leader go into the pits and the person who got the um, front wing damage there. So there goes the leader. And it's going to give the position back to the Avatari, uh, from Ao. Um So they're getting a new wing on. Quick as possible. Um, not a very good stop, of course, because they have the wing change. But... He's going to come back out in 11th position, I presume. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be very close. Oh, he's just going to come out in 10th. Just. Um, now, they've got some catching up to do to get to the safety car. But obviously, the safety car will not come in until all the cars are back and behind. Um, I doubt this will finish under safety car. But we have a few more laps remaining then. Seven more laps. Uh, I presume the safety car will go to the ninth or tenth lap. Um, and it looks like we have a five second penalty with collisions. Um, don't know what that could be for. But we're going to get some very interesting racing action once this safety car has gone out because it is going to be wheel to wheel once again let's go ahead and have a look at our leader Afro Mayo in the front leading the whole pack not sure when the safety car is coming in it could be coming in now no it's not waiting for those lights to go off and um, there it is lights are off safety car is coming in this lap but back markers hasn't even catched up they obviously want to see some racing action here. Yes, now just that one back mark and there's damage in the back! Now here we go then, there was a crash in the back. We're not going to have time to look at that now, as we're going to have to see the start. Here we go then, will we see any racing action? It's all up to him on the start, and he is going now! It's a quick start, we're not seeing any positions. The house looks like... He's going in the pits. No, he's not. He's just done it for a bit of a fluke. We'll have a look. Back and forth here. Not much action. The Red Bull making a move. Using his straight line speed there. But now the house. Back down the inside. He's managed to take back his position. We're getting contact. The two Red Bulls. Touch. Now goes wheel to wheel. The two Red Bulls. It's... Oh, it's unbelievable. And now it goes three wide. Large stroll. Trying to get past. Doesn't seem to get past. There's contact. Further back on the grid. 
This is quite close racing. We're going to bring up the leaderboard now. The 30 second time penalty for contact. Um, yeah, and that's a nice move there from the Williams of Logan Sargent. Very, very nice. Down the inside. So let's have a look at the McLaren that had the penalty. He does have a has. Trying to get past him eagerly. This could be some good wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. He's going to try and get at the inside. Luckily managed to abort that in time. That could have been bad, making some contact. Um, but that has let the McLaren get a bit of a lead. And he'll be trying to fight back, but it doesn't look like he'll be able to. Um, yes, he will actually. We've only got a few laps to go. Six laps remaining. He's down the inside. There's contact. Big contact. Well goes the house. And what about the McLaren? He's up to third. This is perfect. But now the Red Bull is catching. And the Red Bull is right up behind him. And it is a safety car once again. So, so not really what we wanted to see. Straight after another safety car, this will probably go to the 30, um, 30, this will probably go to the 12th lap, um, I presume, safety car straight out already, so, I, my votes are on this McLaren, I reckon he'll be able to get up, Red Bull getting a bit too close, he's doing a max, like he always does, but this is going to be good racing action between Max and Lando, they're going to be right next to each other through the whole thing. I have a feeling they will be contestant, but my bets are on Matt Lando. I reckon he has the pace from their new reg um, their new car changes. I reckon he'll be able to keep in front and maybe get up to second and get that few more points on the podium. Uh, you can see there he's switching his brake bias on the steering wheel. Um, and he's really hyped up as they'll be getting to see the lights out. Red Bull swerving all over the place, really swerving um, off the track at the minute, he might get a penalty for this, and oh there's contact, the house is in the back, the house is in the back, but it, oh, <laughs> what is the house doing, this is not good, what is the house doing, the house is going to get a 5 second penalty, but that is, what an idiot, what an absolute idiot if you ask me, honestly people these days he doesn't even have a wing anymore honestly that is stupid i racing come on i mean that's just ruined his race completely the red bull has a front wing and here comes the has what's he gonna do oh my gosh he's absolutely ruined this guy's race drive through penalty ignoring yellow flag exactly but he's going into the pits um that's ruined his race unfortunately uh, completely ruined it that has that is so annoying um, so yeah he's in the pits uh, he's gonna go on to softs hopefully yes he is okay it's not over yet though never give up he is far back but can never give up he is dead last no he's not no he's not um, but unfortunately that is just turned his race upside down now, what I want to see is this Ferrari get in front of that Mercedes. This Ferrari better get in front of that Mercedes. They've had the pace all that all the time. Can he get in front of him? It's a question. We're going to have a few laps. I presume safety car will be in this lap, so they're going to need to do some catching up. Uh, safety car will most probably be in this lap, so yeah, they're definitely going to need to catch up. Now, I want this Ferrari to get past this Mercedes because they've been wheel-to-wheel -wheel with each other the whole time. This will be the battle of the century, hopefully. Charles Leclerc versus Hamilton. And then <laughs> we have Max Verstappen in front. So also watch Max Verstappen as he'll probably make up the three positions he needs to get pole position at Bahrain here. So let's see, safety car I presume will be in. Alfa Romeo's led it all the way. Um, hasn't 
being down once really and waiting for the lights to go off they usually go off around about now um, and they're off safety car is in this lap so let's see what F1 has in store for us today four laps remaining um, it's gonna be close for sure so then he's controlling the pace when he puts his foot down they are go and green flag will be out and he can go so he comes around the turn will he get his foot down bear in mind he is on the um mediums everyone else is on the softs i believe yes they are everyone is on the softs except the leader as now it is green green flag not much action happening at the front let's have a look further back down the back the ferrari can he get past the mercedes oh it's truck apart there's contact sergio perez making a way illegal move there now goes past the whole the ferrari has had a horrible restart horrible horrible he's almost down to dead last but can the mclaren make up a few more positions surely now five second penalty then has been awarded to um the mclaren uh, and that will be another penalty, I presume. Um, as he's flying through the grid, in fact. Absolutely flying. I don't believe this. Now he's got to get past the hardest of them all. The Red Bull. Sergio. Max Verstappen, sorry. I don't believe this. This has been an incredible comeback. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to get third. But first, but he's back on the podium. But is he back on the podium with all his penalties? We'll have to have a look. Um, so, if we have our gaps and we get the penalties, he has an eight second penalty. He will not be back on the podium, even though the car. Uh, no, yeah, he won't be back. He won't be on the podium. He needs to get this Red Bull. He has to get in front of this Red Bull. But even then, they still don't have a big enough gap. Because the WP, the Alpine, is right by it all. There's a crash. That could be a safety car. I'm not sure. The Red Going off! I don't believe it now! It's coming an overtake! Oh my gosh! That was incredible! That was intense racing! Mercedes will not be able to! What place will it be? He's dropped down back to third! It's wheel to wheel! Can he get the old switch through? No he can't! He's a real, still around the outside! It's so close! And now Haz is going to try and join in! He won't be able to though! As they both get the slipstream! He's trying to go for the dive bomb. He really don't want to make any contact now because this could really be bad. This is a battle for second. Oh, has really all over this McLaren. He can surely get past him. Surely all oh, this contact. Big contact. But he's back down the inside. What a move. There's big contact, in fact. Massive, massive, massive contact. And that will not be something he'll be happy. At the minute, it's a 1 2 for the Alpha Tari, uh, for the Alpha Romeos. The McLaren in third, but he does have his 8 second penalty, so he will not be back there. Will he when the times re-show? No, he will not with his 8 second penalty. There's a yellow flag. Um, don't know what that was from. Bearing in mind, though, first, second place does have a 3 second penalty. Um, but I'm not sure if that will affect him. And he doesn't have a front wing. And he'll be wanting to see the checker flag ASAP. But it's not going to come that quick. As now, he's going to get some challenge from the Alpine. Alpine, or Alpine, whatever you want to call it. DRS is now enabled. So the Alpine's going to get this DRS, whether he likes it or not. It won't be enabled down here, but it will be enabled down the second street. He's got the slipstream. Slipstream's already powerful enough. But it's not going to be powerful enough down there. But now he's going to get down the inside. There's a big accident. And now he's done him, but he's not going to get the DRS because he passed the checkpoint. In fact, the car in front gets the DRS and not the McLaren. That is purely cruel. With no front wing, there's not much he can do. He's just a passenger at this point. But he can hold fourth if he can just get a second up from the other Alpine. He can just get a second up this is going to be really hard for him but he can the Alfa Romeos are sitting happily with a second apart um a second um from the wing with his penalty so the Alfa Romeos 
have somehow pulled this off. Couldn't have done the strategy better. And it is the final lap. Uh, it's a 1-2, it looks like it's going to be for the Alfa Romeos. <laughs> I mean, you don't see that often. But it is going to be a 1-2. Oh, oh no, it won't be, as he's just back in with a second. Can he pull it back out? He'll see the checkered flag. As he's crossed the line, he's going to get first place. Can he get in? He's not. He's just been caught out with his penalty. No, he hasn't. Sorry. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. He's still got the first position. I apologise for that. Can the McLaren? Ah, oh, McLaren's lost it. Unfortunately, there of his penalty and here they come to cross the line very very tight finish there very very tight and uh, then you have the has come to cross the line come to see the check flag never give up and across the line fair play to him 11th position wasn't too um, just one point out of the podium it's driver of the day I mean I, I think I, that's exactly what I would have said. He's led it from the start. Well, no, sorry, he hasn't. Um, that was the other guy. What a race, in fact. That was outstanding, truly outstanding. As there's the podium, you've got to respect it. He's driven so hard today and manages to bring it back, the Swedish driver. And uh, there we go. So that was the end of this brilliant F1 Grand Prix iRacing. So please join us next time. Thank you and goodbye.